by the speaker, bad conduct of the, of, of, of the speaker in parliament and Mr. Lungu, they owe the people of Zambia an apology. A very, very serious apology. And Matvini must show cause why he should not step aside because he has damaged the history, the good culture of our parliament. He needs to step aside and allow someone else who would take parliament as a serious house for legislation, for basically providing oversight to the executive. Matiwini is incapable of doing that. Now, if we come to a speech itself, I have looked at that speech. I have gone through it once, twice, three times, and I'm convinced that it's an empty speech. It's actually a totally misdirected in many ways. Let me just cite a few examples. One, Mr. Longo for the first time is acknowledging seriously that there's poverty in this country. But he must know that he's the one responsible for the poverty in this country because of his failure to provide leadership. Which leadership? Leadership in a prudent economic management of our country. It's the absence of the prudent and good economic management of our country, the absence of, if you like, ability by the leadership to cut costs and save money and allocate it in productive areas. This is what is causing a serious economic slowdown. In fact, a meltdown in the economy. The consequence of that meltdown is that there are no jobs for the youth. Those who have graduated, they don't have jobs. They walk the streets three years down the road after graduating because of poor leadership, actually no leadership. Those that are in employment are losing jobs because companies are shutting down because the cost of doing business is going up. Every single day, you've had many companies shutting down. Food is unaffordable. And you could see that in the stampede at the Commonwealth Youth Center. That caused deaths, unnecessary deaths. In my view, it is Mr. Lungu and the PF's failure of leadership that caused those innocent lives to be lost. Stampede of a millennium, 10 kg bag of millennium. Today, he's admitting that there's abject poverty. On the other side, he says there's economic development. 